What is going on guys? Today we're looking at team of the season Holzenberg, the left back 91 rated in this Bundesliga team of the season. Um, I think he is the lowest right back in the, oh, right back, left back. Um, I think he is the lowest left back in the team. And there is, I think there's a couple more. Obviously you have, is it Schultz, Schultz or Schultz? Um, and then you have the Serbian from Frankfurt, Kost, Kostic. Um, so I think, I think that's it. Let me just double check. Left back, one. Yeah, so there's three left backs in this squad. And I think three right backs, or is it two right backs? Obviously, you have Kimmich and Da Costa. So, for me, this is obviously the lowest rated left back that you can get in there. Um, whether or not, I don't think Kostic, I've got him packed. So, I don't know if he'll be any better. Purely for the fact he looks more like a left wing, if anything. Um, obviously, he is a left wing back. So, he does have 98 pace, which is absolutely crazy. Um, but he only has 78 defending. So, that with maybe a, some sort of uh, chemistry style, mainly focusing on defence, could be all right. Um, but, Schultz looks probably one of the best left backs in this team. Um, but anyway, we're going on to this one. So, you're looking at around about 130 yeah, probably give or take 130k for this player. Um, again, I played him in the team that you'll see with uh, Cruz and that centre defensive mid who will be next on the review list, obviously, as I have his clips. Also, I have done a full La Liga NOS, um, La Liga, La Liga NOS um, squad as well, so there'll be plenty of reviews flying. I'm going to try and get one, one La Liga NOS, one... Um, Bundesliga and then if I've kind of failed on the Bundesliga I've got the backup of League NOS as well um, looking at a few of his stats so Helsenberg's stats 92 passing 91 defending 91 physical 87 physical and 85 pace so relatively decent to be honest 96 shot power just on the attack in front um, defensively 94 standing tackle with 93 heading accuracy also 96 jumping being that he is six foot two as well, three star, three star on his skill moves and weak foots, um, and he's left footed obviously, which is fantastic. Ninety nine short, uh, short pass and crossing, as well as curve. So again, you can see the kind of left mid role or left wing back with a lot of these German players. I think they definitely suit more of a five at the back formation, just purely for the fact that they bomb up and down. For me, this card was really nice. But I had to keep him back. When I put him on just free roam, do what you want, go up and down, I found that he was getting countered far too easily going forward. He'd go forward, and before he gets back, they've already got a counter, and I've only got three defenders or two defenders on the go. For me, that I don't I don't need that in foot champs or in anything like this. Um, I really need him back, so I had to swap them to stay back. And it's what I wanted to do last week, but I completely forgot to do it, and I ended up doing all matches. Um, but now I've put him back. I noticed that the positioning wasn't as much of an issue. Obviously, it doesn't give you that extra overlap, that attack every now and often with your left and right backs. But I think with the amount of counters that people can do, it's safer to have your def uh, your left and right backs as a defensive option rather than pushing up. I think I can kind of create more chances going forward than having these back, to be honest. Um, a few other stats, 93 stamina, which is always fantastic. 91 strength as well. Really, really nice player. Probably could whack him in at centre-back, to be honest. I think he'd play really, really well still um, as a super sub centre-back, if, if I'm honest. Um, apart from that, the card's pretty overall decent. Is he kind of contesting for best left-back? I don't think so. I think there's plenty of options. Obviously, you've got Robertson as well, who I'd really need to try. Um, he looks absolutely fantastic. And I think for what you're paying for this card, future star Mendy would be another fantastic replacement instead. Um, I just think that they're the better options Purely for the hype at the minute, I think Team of the Season obviously is out. I think there's going to be many Team of the Seasons out here. And he does he does do well. He gets up the pitch. He crosses. He passes. He's really good at intercepting and kind of making them, them kind of standing challenges. And I really like him for that. I just think that he necessarily isn't the greatest left back. Mainly just for rating and for just overall ability. Um, really good at obviously kind of nicking stuff away. I think you see here as well. He kind of... He comes inside, just takes the ball off him. There you go. Pass out. Beautiful. That's what he's good at. I think when it comes to being last man challenges, he's, he's a bit careless with them. Obviously, it's player error as well. Um, but is the overall screen. 
Giving him a 7 out of 10, I think that's where I, I would keep him. I think that's personally where I'd rate him. 6 out of 10 for value of coins is, to be honest, 130k isn't a hell of a lot. Obviously, to some, it may be a little bit, but you could grind that quite easily in a week or even a couple of days as a casual player. Um, pros and cons from him. I've got defensive ability was really nice. Passing, again, was really good going out and definitely crossing to kind of add to that as well. Physical aspect of him was really strong. The main one, like the con, is the positioning. That's mainly if you're kind of not using any custom tactics. I think, I think you'll find that very much as a big error for him. Um, and I think that's something to definitely look at when playing him just ra uh, just as an open, free-roam kind of player. Um, apart from that, con-wise, it's mainly just ability overall. He, to get to that next level, I think he needs to be a couple of ratings higher. Obviously, with the Robertson, I think he's got roughly kind of same stats-ish. Obviously, he's a little bit higher on some. Um, but overall, spread of his, his um, attributes, like his 91... Um, physical and defending alongside his 92 passing which again you can't complain at it's really nice and if you was to get this guy and you're guaranteed he's not the worst and to be honest he's not a terrible player you could whack him into an SBC as well um, that's always something fantastic with these cards being so high rated you're expecting that they, some of them will go into the prime moments the Hullets the the Eusebio, Eusebios all of them Apart from that, that is the review done. 7 out of 10 for him. We're going to be moving on to the next one later on. I think I want to get Felix out next, potentially. Um, so that may be later on. And then obviously we'll have the Liga Nos um, SBC guaranteed today as it is Sunday. And hopefully we find our final foot swaps player. As obviously we're already waiting for that that uh, squad battles one. We could be seeing the final one today. Um, and that would lead us then to get our free icon tomorrow. So let me know down below who you'd like to um, me to review next. Let me know as well if I've had one person come forward. I know this is kind of last minute. But I'll put it as the question. Would you like me to open up your Bundesliga or Liga Nos, SBC, what have you, pack? Um, I had one guy come forward, and I'd actually love that. I think that would make really good content. Um, I'll probably put it on Discord so we can kind of chat and stuff like that. And I think it'd be really cool to get other people's kind of content in here as well. Um, so if that does kind of float your boat, let me know down below. And we'll let, we'll put me in the Twitter. We'll go DMs and stuff like that. And we'll see how we can do it because I'm really up for that. So let me know down below. If you did enjoy this video, a massive thumbs up is always wanted. And if you are new around here, a subscription. We're nearly at 3K, guys. I cannot wait. Then we go on to the 4K and then it's the big 5K milestone. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.